So this is a very simple slide on how to open your data. Um, and we can advise you how to do this. There is some stuff on our website. We are going to be revamping our website to make this easier and, and clearer, people understand what to do. But in the meantime, we are here to support organizations to open their data. So if you want to open your data now, let us know what system you use. Um, and it could be really simple to say, oh yeah, that system's already built the functionality. Go tell your relationship manager at their system, I want to open my data. And in most cases for those systems, you tick the box, you might have to, to sign something around sharing data and so on. You tick the box and that data is opened up as a feed. It goes in the directory and anyone can start using that data. We'll make a song and dance and say this feed is now opened up, it's available to use and so on. If your system hasn't built open access functionality, ask them to work with us. So we can work with them to build that functionality to open up that data. And once they've built that functionality, you'll then be able to go and ask them to tick the box. With some systems, they need a critical mass of demand to do this work. They have to spend some money to do this as a system. So if they know one organization, one of their customers wants to do it, they may or may not uh, do what the customer wants them to do. If they know that 20 of their customers want to do it, the demand is there and the customers have the power to say, we all want this, build this functionality for us. Um, if you don't use a system, then we can talk to you about systems that have open active functionality built in. And I've mentioned a couple already, they're not the only systems out there, but they are systems that are you know, low cost or free to use. They have basic functionality. So you know, they let you literally put your data in there and it opens it up for you with open sessions. And you, you know, it makes it possible for those sessions to be shared in all those different places. If you want a bit more functionality, then you'll have to pay a little bit for those systems, obviously, because they're providing that functionality for you. It depends what you as an activity provider or the activity providers you're speaking to as an influencer and as, a, as an aid to the sector. Uh, it depends what they want to be able to do, which systems they should use. 